Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can get a screensaver, an actual screensaver on your iDevice, your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now, you, you guys know, have you ever been in an Apple store or Best Buy and you see when the iDevices, when any of them go to sleep, it says it, it has a screensaver like the iPhone would have an iPhone 4. The phone that changes everything or something like that where you guys can do that with whatever video of a screensaver you choose and I'm going to show you guys how you can do that it's a simple process it's basically like a screensaver so it's a simple process all you're going to need is a converter a video converter I use this program right here it's called WinX HD video converter deluxe I'm actually testing it out and I might have a giveaway on that so stay tuned for that in a couple of days. You're going to need to know how to SSH into your iDevice either Cyberduck for Mac or WinSCP for Windows. I'll have a link to all those posts if you want to learn or whatever just check the description everything is there. And that's basically it that's basically everything you need so let's get into this tutorial <laughs> quick and easy fast. So. I have my WinSCP already open up here and I've already converted a couple of videos because I was testing this out as you can see I have a couple of videos right here already converted so what you want to do when you open up WinSCP and you already log in and all that good stuff you're gonna navigate to VAR mobile right here that's it it's gonna say private VAR mobile up here don't worry about that as long as you go back and you know that you went in VAR mobile then you're in VAR mobile what you wanna do now you need a dot mov mov file it has to be a dot mov you see how this says dot mov you need to have a dot mov file that's why I say you need a converter or if you record something with your iPhone that also records in dot mov so what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag your screensaver or which whatever you want you're gonna drag the video over here that dot mov video and you're gonna hit copy in that same location var mobile you're gonna hit copy and let it copy in there let me just let this copy over so as you can see my file is already over here now this file was recorded with my iPhone so what you're gonna do you're gonna rename it and you're gonna rename it demo dot mov but it has to be lowercase if you record it with your iPhone it's gonna be a uppercase but it has to be lowercase not uppercase so you're gonna rename it demo dot mov exactly and then you're gonna just hit save I'm not gonna hit save because I already have it there I'm just gonna re remove this and that's basically it. Now we're going to go over to iDevice. Everything else take place there. So I have both my iDevices here now, my iPad and my iPhone. And when you first do the process, you're going to have to respring. So when you first drag the file in and rename it, you're going to have to respring. But every other time after that, there's no need to respring. You can just drag the file in, rename it, and then just wait for your screensaver to pop up. Now, when you, when your screen table go, when your screen goes to auto dim, like it has a minute or two minutes, the iPad has two minutes. I think this has one minute. When it goes to one minute, then the screen saver is gonna come up. But you can also respring to show the screen saver faster in case you wanna see if it did work. So I'm gonna respring both these i devices. And as you see, the screensaver for this one already kicked in. This is a video I recorded with my iPhone 4 when I was doing the review on the Joy Factory Rain Ballot waterproof case for the iPhone 4. And this one over here is just a random screensaver. This one has music with it. And that's basically it. a simple, simple tutorial you can put any video you want you, you, I think you can put as long as video as you want so I can put a 30 minute video and it's gonna play for 30 minutes or until my battery dies but that's basically it a simple simple process and if you want to stop the screensaver all you have to do is tap the screen and it's gonna stop or press the home button or whatever so the screen and the screensaver is just gonna continue playing it's gonna be in an infinite loop and it's just gonna continue playing until you stop it 
so it's just gonna be there credit to the guys over at iDevice daily for the information with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day iDevice daily